Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here and share with you my fall must-haves or favorites. Like, as a Canadian girl who loves the outdoors, I just, you guys don't feel straight. Please hold. You're not straight, because I'm an idiot. That'll do. Yay! That's better, okay. I wanted to come on here and share with you my fall favorites as a Canadian who loves the outdoors and lives in a very cold place. If you didn't know, um, you might be new to the channel. I live in Newfoundland and Labrador in the beautiful east coast of Canada in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And it's pretty much always cold, except for like three weeks in the summer where we get a heat wave and the humidex gets so high, nobody leaves their houses because they get heat stroke. <laughs> so I'm that kind of girl. I don't get a lot of sun because I just burn. It doesn't matter how much SPF I put on, I will end up burning, so I just avoid it like the plague. Fall is my favorite time of the year. I'm always outdoors. When the colors change on the trees, you best be betting this girl stays outside a lot longer than the average person. I'm also that girl who will wear shorts until her birthday on October 30th, and people think I'm crazy, but I can't help myself. So anyway, I wanted to come on here and basically give you my essentials for living in a province that is known for its rainy, foggy, grossness weather, but I'm always out in it anyway. And I just wanted to share with you like the best products I use to get the cutest Instagram photos <laughs> for fall in Newfoundland. I have a little doggo that loves to be outside with me and we adventure a lot, so I figured I'd just share what I usually use. Um, I have a list. The first thing on it is invest in a good quality rain jacket. <laughs> People think I'm crazy. I have a North Face jacket. I actually have two different jackets. There's a bug in my house. Um, is that indoors or outdoors? He's inside. Um, please hold while I kill a bug. It's not a bug, it's a moth. They're just outright annoying. He did. You're welcome. Did that in one go. Liz, that's how you kill a bug quickly. If you guys watched one of Liz's recent videos, she got into a fight with a moth and it took her 200 million years to kill it. I just did it in one shot, girl. Work on your aim. <laughs> um, no tea, no shade. That's just funny. We hung out this morning. <laughs> She'll get it. She'll laugh. She'll appreciate that. What was I saying before the moth so rudely interrupted me? Oh, invest in a good rain jacket. I am a huge fan of North Face jackets. They keep you dry. They have vents in them so you can still like hike and stay super comfortable in it without getting too sweaty because there's nothing worse than like a wet skin jacket that makes you sweat. Like get a rain jacket with a ventilation system <laughs> and they are expensive. But like I got my North Face jacket, actually I have two now and I got two of them for the price of one on Facebook Marketplace. And if you really take the time and look, people are always selling things like that, so I always get a really good deal. The second thing I recommend, Hunter boots. And everyone says, why? Well, because not only can you use them in the spring slash fall for like the rainy grossness, well, that's two seasons in Newfoundland that just are always wet. Um, I use mine in the winter time. I don't own real rubber uh, winter boots. I literally have insoles, like winter insoles I put in my hunter boots, and I wear thick socks with my hunter boots, and I use them in the winter time. I use them in the summer when we have rain without the insoles. I use them in the fall, 90% of the time. If I'm out in the fall at all, and it's damn, you best be betting, I have my high hunter boots on, they go up to my knees, they have the expandable calves so you can wear jeans or sweatpants in them. I invested in a good pair. And I had the original tall hunter boots before and they lasted three winters in Newfoundland, four falls before they got a crack in them. So they were very, very good. I also have the short ones that I just bum around and sometimes love them. Um, you can either get them in Marketplace or I get mine at Twisted Sister. Every year they, they are guaranteed to go on 50% off of Twisted Sister. So I get them downtown and I get them for significantly cheaper than the retail price. You're welcome, give it a shot. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is scarves. Your girl loves a good plaid scarf that like acts as a blanket, like blanket scarves are my favorite. I wear them to work all the time in the fall. My office is either super hot in the summer or super cold in the winter. There's never anything in the middle. So I love a good blanket scarf. I like to curl up at my desk and work the day away in those. Um, <clears throat> sticking with the comfy things, your girl's always wearing a comfy crew neck. I love them. This one says, what does it say? 
adventure together. I kind of got it for me and Lola slash me Katie and Nikki because we hike together all the time. And when Britt's here, we go on adventures too. But Britt hasn't been here in a while. Yeah, just sad. Um, but I love a good crew neck. I have like a dog mom one. I have the Lord DIY one. They got it at our Deans. I didn't get it from the shop or DIY website because, you know, American exchange rates um, and all that kind of stuff. But love a good crew neck. I love a good comfy oversized sweater. Wear them all the time in the fall. I also wear leggings. I have like my workout leggings and then I have my comp leggings. Like I have the Lululemon Align leggings and they are not designed for working out. They're legit designed for being comfy. And I wear those a lot and I love them and I can't wait to have a fall in them and like wear them all the time. 10 out of 10 recommend investing in a good pair of comfy leggings. I also recommend investing in soft, fuzzy, comp socks because it doesn't matter sometimes how much you have the heat on in Newfoundland. It is just bone chillingly cold. So sometimes you just have to wear two pairs of socks, even if you're like super used to the cold weather. So fuzzy socks, great investment piece. 10 out of 10 recommend. Now again, I'm like the outdoorsy girl. So I like, I will go for walks in December. Like I'm that girl because I do have the right outdoors equipment. But that means I need to have a good headphone. Your girl loves AirPods, but I've never had them in the dead of winter. But I have a feeling they'll be okay. I also have a pair of Beats, like the wired Beats headphones by Dre. And I think and they're really good. Over the air headphones, like the big stereo ones, are great for walking in Newfoundland. But in the fall, like the beginning of fall, I would recommend AirPods because I do like wireless and I'm spoiled now with that. But to keep your ears warm, get a big headphone. It's okay if you look funny. In Newfoundland, everybody, anyone who, who's like dedicated to being outdoors doesn't care what they look like. They could look a little odd with the giant over the air headphones on and like a big fuzzy hat or something because it's cold, but we like the outdoors. It's one of those things. It's kind of like girls in LA who, you know, in winter wear shorts because they can, because it never gets cold. Well, in Newfoundland, like we don't care how out of place we look. <laughs> as long as we're warm and comfortable, we're okay. Well, in LA, girls wear like Santa hats and big hoodies with shorts and <laughs> say it's winter, you know? So same concept. We don't care how out of place we look as long as we're casual and comfy. And then that brings me into my fall makeup things. I love to wear makeup in the fall because I feel like I have the most fun with it. Um, I love a good full coverage concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I also do a full coverage like foundation. I love the MAC Studio Fix. That one's real good and it has SPF in it even though it's fall. There's still sun so you need to protect your skin from the UVA and UVB rays. I also have like SPF in all my skincare and I use sunscreen. So quick disclaimer, you should always use that any time of year because you want to protect your skin. But your girl loves a full coverage anything. And I also love bright lips. I like gravitate towards like the plums and the reds in the fall. And one of my favorite reds is actually the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Extra. Your girl's extra. <laughs> it's a bright red. I love it. But I also find myself shooting for like some neuter colors. This is Syrup by MAC. I love this one as well. It's like a muted pink. 10 out of 10 recommend that. I love fall because you can really mix it up and then you're getting so close to Vlogmas slash Christmas. I, mean, I love how I measure my seasons in YouTube now, not on anything else. It's funny. I have a problem. You're welcome. And I also love brows. I will always be a brow girl and I'm a benefit brow girl. And I know that's stupid because there's so many other drugstore products out there, but I just find benefit is my tried and true. I've always been a give me a brow girl. I love this brow gel. It is fabulous. I 10 out of 10 recommend. I've been really enjoying the Precisely My Brow and I just bought the Goof Proof, so I wanna give that a whirl too. But Benefit products never let me down in the brow department and they also have some other good stuff, but they, they know the brows real well and I totally love them. And then the final thing I recommend for fall is candles. I like to burn candles all year long, but fall just, I don't know, the comfy, cozy vibe is, is real in the fall and I love it. It's, it's my favorite season for a million reasons. Even my birthdays in fall, like it's all great. So the candles that I love the most are like, I like the dessert one. So this is hot fudge sundae. I like love the macaroon one. They have like a peach macaroon. Um, anything with vanilla, fireside marshmallow, s'mores, that kind of thing. 
yeah, love a good candle, love a good comfy cozy night. I love to light a candle, have a bath, use a bath bomb, and just be cozy and slip into like fuzzy things after. It's great. So those are all of my fall favorites for living in Canada and being cold all the time. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys love for fall. Like, what are your favorite fall activities? I'm really looking forward to like vlogging over the course of like October, November, because the city is so beautiful and there's always so many fun things to do. So. Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you love fall as much as I do, tell me down below. Uh, turn on notifications, follow me on my socials, and I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys, bye.